all set up and ready to rock and roll, but here's the problem. I can't get on, so ready, here we go. Karate Kid, channeling the Karate Kid, two, one. <laughs> yes! Sunshine shining, weather is sweet cheer. What's up guys and welcome to another truth video and thought again we'd enjoy some views and news so getting back to these regular uploads now I'm loving it trying to keep it nice and varied for you guys um, let me know in the comments section what other subjects you would like to see I know some of you said things like glutamine uh, amino acids and stuff like that uh, they're not too big a subject so they'll just be short videos easily done and I will do that just to give you all you know a little bit of a Info on those subjects, I'll probably combine a couple of things together. But, other than that, let's head into what we're going to talk about today. And that is, protein supplements and the different variations of them. <sighs> Why do I not breathe when I talk? <sighs> when did I start doing that? Three, two, are you going to get out my way then? Yes. First things off the bat, let's get this out of the way. Do you need protein supplements? No. And any good protein supplement company will tell you the exact same answer. Because the word need elicits the fact that they are required 100% to be, to be used by you for you to achieve bodybuilding, fitness, whatever goals. And that is simply, it's not true, hence the name guys supplements the title is a, is the hint supplement that means it's an additional product an additional something to an already well-structured foundation so with that said are they still useful a hundred percent a hundred percent they're still useful so protein supplements are nothing more than powdered food that is the best way of thinking of them there's nothing magic in them there's nothing in them that you can't get from your diet if you have a well-balanced monitored and structured diet and knowledge of nutrition a lot of the time what will happen is people start taking supplements when they aren't, aren't tracking the macros and aren't really monitoring their food and what happens is when they take the supplement it bumps their macros up gives the body what it's been kind of crying out for and then they see results from that and which is why they think they still require the supplements all the time or the supplements were you know something amazing and different to food and that's often why a lot of people get a bit scared about coming off them or what they're taking in but what they do is allow you to hit targets a little more easily as in terms of the intake volume required to hit a certain macro level and what i mean by that is it was 30 grams of protein in 100 grams of chicken clean chicken breast okay to say hit 50 grams of protein you would have to eat roughly what is that Cool, man. So you'd have to eat roughly 160 grams of chicken breast. So if you know your portions, you know roughly how much that looks like to hit your 50 grams of protein that we're using as an example today. We'll cover the 50 grams of protein later. But before I digress, anyway, let's get back. So you'd have to eat 160 grams of chicken, which would be the same equivalent as probably around about two scoops of a standard whey protein powder. So you can see very clearly that having to eat 160 grams of chicken versus having to quickly drink 300 ml of water with the protein in or whatever you choose to mix it with, obviously it's gonna be much easier to drink the protein supplement. And what that means is if you have a busy lifestyle or you're short on time or you struggle to eat large volumes of food when you're trying to grow, then supplements can be useful in terms of adding those additional macros and calories into your diet where you just can't physically eat anymore or don't have the time to get those extra couple of meals in. So they become very, very useful and they're certainly a great tool when they're used that way. They also do provide a very good complex of like amino acids and vitamins often and they're fortified with, with a lot of good minerals and essential nutrients and as long as you're getting a high quality grade protein. In terms of that, they are very useful but it is very, very important to understand that the protein powder does no more than the protein you would get from your food. Please understand that. The whole thing of um, fast release, slow release, that's just more to do with kind of 
longer than anything. We know now there's been numerous studies that you do not have this anabolic window that must be hit after workouts. The whole thing of you've got to get your protein in within an hour of working out. It's been debunked. It's been shown that your body will take in what it needs when it's given it and it will partition it accordingly. So there's no need to worry too much about that in terms of you know worrying about missing meals or things like that as long as by the end of the day by the end of the day you've hit your targets that are required for your goals that's all that really matters in the long term now short term that call could cause you know different views that you see in the mirror because you get acute reactions so obviously if you eat a large volume of food to get your macros in towards the end of one night you're going to look different the next morning to say if you finished your macros three hours before bed the day before and then look to yourself in the morning because obviously you've not had a consistent you've not been consistent sorry in your timing of your intakes but that doesn't mean that you've been inconsistent in hitting your goals or moving and progressing forward towards your goals it just means that in the next 12 to 24 hour period you might look a little bit different because you ate something different or you took something in at a different time the day before so it's very important to understand that guys these small little reactions and differing views you see in the mirror day to day can often just be uh, due to difference in timing of your meals they're not actually it, there's no long-term effect of it so like when you wake up and you feel you look a little softer um, that doesn't mean you put fat on or lost muscle in a day it just might mean that you didn't take in as many carbs as the night before don't you do it I'll see you lean on me when you're on a motorbike so you can see what I'm saying in terms of they have their place 100% they are very useful and they are a legitimate product and a benefit to have in your cupboard and in your diet do you have to take them every day to see the benefits of them no do you need to worry about the quality of the product that you're buying i would say yes because there are a lot of cheap products on the market now that don't undergo the same kind of testing and rigmarole and production quality as some of the others and it's basically the difference between buying good meat and crappy meat you know you wouldn't you wouldn't buy shitty cut quality meat that's not been stored properly or not been looked after in transit and the same goes for your supplements you know make sure that you're buying a good grade of supplement because otherwise you know you buy there's that saying isn't there you know buy cheap buy twice and that that rule applies across the board for everything whenever you ever bought anything that was you know too good to be true and it turned out to actually be decent when you're putting things into your body as well i think it's even more important to be putting something in there that's good quality um you know we try and avoid processed foods and all things like that so it's the same you should be doing a similar thing in terms of your supplementation and the quality of the supplements that you use. Bye bye tractor man. Alright, calm down there motorbiker. I let you past. Have a good day. I will, thank you tractor man. <laughs> so, you know, they're the basic things that you need to know and I hope that clears a few things up. Uh, because it seems like a lot of people still treat supplements as being something special. Like, just in the way the terminology is used as supplements. Like, <laughs> how people say, oh, uh, what protein do you take? like take it like as if it's a medicinal agent like nobody will ever say to you oh what chicken do you take you see what i mean <laughs> but when you when you see it like that it, it, it's uh, it does sound kind of silly um wow look at that pendle hill uh, so let's move on to different types as i was saying before like you have isolate then you have the whey blends and then you have casein now there was the old uh, you know we we have debunked the theory of you know fast medium and slow release proteins it doesn't really matter you don't really have that on an anabolic window which basically means that whole advertising campaign about isolate being you know oh, you need to get that in after you work out because it's the fastest one to get to your muscles to help rebuild and stop catabolism you know we, we've proven time and time again this is not the case that meal timings really don't matter other than on a personal level for hunger ability to fit it into your day it's just not something you need to be overly worried about guys and i remember when <laughs> i was at uni and doing all this before i knew about all the macros and studied everything in depth um, I used to go out to nightclubs with a chicken breast wrapped in tin foil in my pocket. Can you believe that shit? So when I'm saying all these things to you guys, but I'm never talking down to you, what I'm doing is saying, <laughs> don't do the dumb shit that I did. Because <laughs> you have more facts now available to you so easily. They're just at your fingertips. You just have to look or listen. Basically, you're fine with just a way. Hang on, this guy's creeping. Thank you. He's creeping forward. Anyway, yeah. If you find that you know whey doesn't agree with your stomach you could try and isolate just for the, the more simplistic digestive process um, but there's also other other options out there for you if you do need something 
to kind of bump up your macros that doesn't include you eating another meal there's obviously you have your vegetarian proteins you have your pea proteins the vegan protein and so you know they're an option for you to look at but as far as my personal experience with those they taste like absolute ass oh i mean vegetarians or vegans if you're watching this uh, please comment below if you have found any any really good tasting protein products because i'm sure it would help a, a lot of people out casein um casein again slow released was one that they said you know have before bed so it feeds your body through the night now look it's not going to do you any harm to take isolate after a workout straight away or take casein before bed don't get me wrong by saying like it doesn't matter doesn't mean don't do it if with you and your timing and if it mentally helps you feel better and progressive then then keep doing it it's, it's doing you absolutely it's not wrong to do it what we're just saying is that you don't need to do it or worry about it if you miss it okay casein is the, one of the better ones for be, for using in kind of cooking processes so if you are quite you know you fancy you're a dab hand in the kitchen uh, if you'd like to check out some recipes laney's kitchen diaries card will appear here on the screen it'll link you through to her kitchen diaries playlist there's a lot of um of good recipes there for you guys to follow the casein is one of her favorites to use she finds that it is it's very good in uh, baking and things like that simply because it doesn't it doesn't dry out the mixtures as much as a whey would do so if you do tend to use whey's you are going to have to make it a little bit more liquid before baking cooking or whatever it is the lady's actually even gone and used kind of these powders in making like uh, peanut sauces for chicken and stuff like that so there is quite a scope for it hey, junctions man oh, yeah. and he was on his mobile is that guy on his phone dude anyway, so that's that's the proteins covered um, if I've missed anything, hit me up in the comments. I always respond back, like I say, guys, this channel is here for you. I want it to be interactive. I want it to help. I want it to give you things you can take and just run with it immediately. So if I miss anything, comment below. I do read all the comments and I always try and get back to you as quick as I can. And guys, if you know the answer to questions people are posting up, then please answer, help people. I've seen it in some of the previous videos. It's been fantastic. Let's really keep building on that. Uh, I'm proud of you guys. So keep helping each other. I'm just going to drop a couple of gears here and disappear. So moving on to the other styles of protein products that you'll see out there. The main one being the kind of mass gainer. <laughs> right. Do they have their place? Again, like I said, in terms of calories and macros and getting, getting those in in a smaller volume to aid your day. Yes, they have their place. But please, please, please be aware they're nothing more than food again these are just a product that contains more fats and more carbs than a simple protein a straight protein product contains that is all they are now there are obviously different levels of quality of these some of them are high in sugar some of them are high in low gi carbohydrates which are more complex which is better um the fat sources are often different so some of them contain uh palm oils which you have to be careful of but others will have things like flaxseed oil in there and mcts which are which are a great addition to a diet it's advertising guys when they say things like muscle gainer and all this basically all they are is a protein carb and fat source some of them will add in there some creatine which you need to be aware of if you're supplementing with creatine already others may have i have seen some of them have like a natural testosterone booster in them again it's going to do you no harm they're just a herbal supplement if anything they're going to uh they're not going to be that effective anyway because you can't guarantee the, the dose per serving in that form and the levels at which you're probably getting them is if anything it's just going to elevate your mood if you're looking for more value for money but you want a weight gainer you can make them yourself by simply adding in a carb and fat source to your protein shakes it's really that simple i would add in um like a ready break porridge which is like a a powdered porridge pre-powdered porridge um, i think what, what are they normally call them like a quick cook porridge or whatever or you can even put in you know to boost your carbs fruits fruits is a great one so you're not only getting your macros in you're also hitting your micros so you can put in there the bananas are fantastic um even you know honey to sweeten there's so many different options in there with some peanut butter or some coconut oil or you know whatever your choice is of fat sauce now obviously it's going to take you a little bit more time to do that than obviously to have a pre-made supplement but it is a very viable option and it will be cheaper in the long run so something to think about there uh... 
So as I go and enjoy the rest of this gorgeous afternoon, I hope that has really helped you guys out. I hope it helps clear up a couple of those mainstream questions and, um, and worries that some of you seem to have. The main conclusion of this is, does protein supplementation have its place in your diet? Yes, it does. Is it an absolute necessity that you must have in there? No, and any good supplement company would tell you the same. But when you are buying these things, all you need to do is compare you know, the cost that it would mean to you in terms of buying the meat and the food and cooking it and put that against the cost of the product you're looking at buying and its quality. And a lot of the time, the supplements are actually pretty good value for money. They definitely have their place in my opinion. Woo! Sunshine, baby! Brings out the happy! And we'll finish the video there. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section. Make sure to please throw me a like on the video if you like these. It really does help the channel. It helps share the information. And much appreciated as always, guys. Love you. My crew. I'll see you in the next one. Boom, baby. Lane. Backstage pass, thank you very much.